<laughs> what do you think about it, Mr. Roy? <laughs> well, I try, I try not to too much. I usually get in trouble when I, too, when too, I do. Too, too much. Yeah, if I think about it too much. Hey. You know, study, study long, study wrong. Is that what it means? Study, study long, study wrong. Study, yeah. Well, Depends on what you're studying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check us out, folks. Today's show brought to you by Fire Shield LLC and Advanced Systems. As it should. Huh? We are here to protect property and lives. Thank you. What's that? Apply. Was that the tagline for both places? Oh, that's the that's the small print. That's the small. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No, the the we are here Define. to protect. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Just made it up. You been, okay. Huh? You better make sure you know they, you know, you, you know hey ain't somebody else copy wrote that written it they copy written it I wrote it something you wrote it <laughs> <laughs> what's today so what's today so the twenty um, third yeah today Mark, Tuesday Mark, yeah Dang, hey, here we are February yeah. made it through another weekend twenty third at least it's uh not iced up this weekend <laughs> yeah that was good right we. Uh, we're actually outside in shorts, you know. I'm, you know the the yard is almost dried up from you know the snow apocalypse 2.0 last week, <laughs> right? But you know, still got some wet spots out in the yard. But hey, it's all right, you know. It's, you know. Hey, stop, collaborate and listen. <laughs> see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I do. I do see what you're saying. Shoot. Hey, today's uh, holiday is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What. So it's, it's a National Dog Biscuit Day. Yeah, so I guess this would be, is this like a, you know, if you've got one of them friends, right, that just, you know, when they come over, they seem to, they, they know where you hide your snacks, or you look over and they're always like grabbing your beef jerky out of your pantry, or, you know, <laughs> your, you know they've opened your last bag of potato chips, yeah. you're like, man, gum it. They know about all your 2,000 snacks. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and uh, hey, today's the day to, to bring them over. Hey, invite them over, man, and uh, take some of them biscuits that you got, them dog biscuits. Maybe throw them in another package or something, <laughs> or put them in a candy dish. Put them dish. in a cookie jar, yeah. yeah. Put them in a cookie jar, and, uh, you know, ha- let them go to town yeah, on teach them. teach you know? them a lesson. You know? Yeah. Let so I, so that, it's funny you say that, because uh, when I was in the service, I got to come home on leave, and I brought a guy with me because he wanted to do some fishing and all that, you know? Oh, yeah. And... uh I said, all right, come on, let's go. Well, anyways, we got down to the house. And my my parents kept a uh, they kept a little uh, dog jerky little container. You know, it was clear packaging, had no writing on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Just looked like looked like regular beef jerky. Gas station beef jerky. Looked like yeah, and and uh, look actually looked like you like mm. it looked good, right? <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, we was in there fooling around in the kitchen, and I said, hey man, you want some you want some jerky? He's like, yeah. Yeah, I throwed him a couple packages. <laughs> hey, tore him up. Hey, he ate them. Okay, <laughs> and then I told him that those were the dog treats. Oh, oh man, he's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, he was mad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I don't remember anybody. I don't remember doing it on purpose to anybody. But I remember Mama tells me, growing up, we had this neighbor Curtis, right, and. uh she said he'd come over, you know, because he would come over and, like, help fix stuff. You know, he was hand, kind of hand, handy dude, you know. He'd come over and... Kurt McDurk. <laughs> he was ha- handy, not handsy. Let me Whoa. let me rephrase. He yeah. Was, he was a handy man, right? But uh, I remember she, she said one time that he, he like, uh, started grabbing these, uh, like, cookie-looking things just a little, and started eating them. And he's like, you know, dang, Miss Martha, these are good. And she's like... <laughs> Curtis, those are for the dog. What are you doing? You oh, know, come and, on, Curtis. Right, but he went ahead and you might as well finish it. If you don't thought it was good, hey, just finish it up. <laughs> Look, don't waste it. You know, don't be a butthole. Yeah, you know? don't taste it just to waste it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> hey, we ought to put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, good idea, man. Don't <laughs> yeah. let me forget that. Yeah. Speaking of t-shirts, they're starting to happen, folks. Yeah, so we're we're uh. We're uh, easing up on uh, T-shirt weather, you know what I mean. So, so if you want to, you know, folks out there, if you you know, you guys want to get something for your friends or hats or you know, you hear some of these uh, uh, slogans, you know that you know that we you know say or some of these sayings. 
Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to try to put a lot of these popular ones on these T-shirts. Just like, you know, don't taste it just to waste it. Yeah. It's you know what I mean? our sayings, too. Right? We're not going to copy anything. Yeah. Yeah, no. We're not going to watch no. But, oh, yeah. Let's put, you know, uh, some yeah. stuff from TV and, you know, you know, you know, freeze punk and oh, whatever. Hey, look, we're gonna, know, it's going to be. I'll, I'll be back. We're not doing none of that yeah, crap. Original Spit Cup and Roy material, and they're going. We're going to have. Uh, man, it's going to be all kinds of stuff. It's going to be leggings for girls. It's going to be uh, kids' clothes, yeah. women's clothes, w- onesies. Yeah, you know? probably onesies. Uh, coffee mugs. I yeah. mean, underwears. You know, all kinds of stuff with uh, original Spit Cup and Roy content. Yeah, yeah. That would fit. So many situations. It's not going to be like, hey, my name's Spit Cup, right? Yeah. Because your name, wearing the shirt, obviously his name isn't Spit Cup. It, but yeah. it will have a saying to your liking <laughs> that you want everybody else to know. Yeah. Right? That's right. Yeah. So so, so stay, stay tuned to those, right? So, yeah. So our, uh, Man, I got our, that our 20, leakage up here in my nose again. Nostril leakage. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's 21st century guys, right? So our our show's educational. Yeah. Right. So I'm I'm assuming everybody has got, you know, radio or the internet or television or the news, I mean, or even a buddy down the road. You know, there's so, or, or your own dang eyeballs. Everybody has the means to know what the uh, future forecast looks like, right? For weather, what's coming? Right. right. I mean, you may, you may you may not be accurate. You know, you, you know we we talked about the weatherman before about yeah. how you know. Uh, but he, but sometimes he, they're wrong. But look, if, if he, he at least gives you a warning, you know, if the weatherman says, "Hey, it's going to be uh you know twenty seven degrees," I bet he's he's going to be within five to ten degrees. You know, mm-hmm. you're not going to walk outside and it's going to be fifty three. You know, it's probably going to be close or to one hundred and six. You know, <laughs> kind of close to what he said. <laughs> Right, so here it is, folks. You know, it's it's the twenty first century. Why, why are we? Why does weather just sneak up on people now? Yeah, you know, and and when, I, I say that because, you know, how many you know, oh, what, you know, with with a snowmageddon earlier in the year, yeah. then snowpocalypse two point oh. You got you got people trapped in their house, uh, and no yeah, food. Yeah, and this, that, yeah, no, what you know. Did you not know? Was it eighty five one day and twelve the next, and you did you didn't know it was coming? Yeah, you know, I mean, now obviously there's things that you can't prepare for. You know, you can you can do, you can go and wrap all your pipes you want. You know, you can do all that. So some things that are you know uh, out of your control. You know, we hey, get that. But tornadoes are like the quickest thing, and you can almost prepare for that. Like, well, you, you have a season, you know. Okay, hey, between November and April, you know, I'm gonna, you know, let, yeah. me, let me get make sure I got some this and that or whatever, you know. But, um, you know, for for po- folk, you know, I see folks here. Well, you know, I haven't had you know water in four days, and you know, I, hey, I mean, did you not know it was coming? You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, we only get it once every you know 10, 15 years down here, but. The weather people they was telling us yeah but like hey you know we got this uh we got this this low pressure system it's moving in from the west and it's going to come up you know off the bajas and you know stream it down from the canadian rockies and you know did you look at that be like oh it ain't, hey, gonna, hey, it ain't hey, gonna, hey, gonna hit us hey, you know? hey, oh, we'll be all right yeah you know that old sneaky weather man yeah right hey. so i mean so now you've been at home you know you were at the house for you know nine days and you ain't bathed and you ain't drinking no water and you know, you had to have a slice of bread, you know, and, you know, and, and then you're all mad because you go to the store and they're all out. What? You know, hey, prepare. You know, ahead of time, coming. you know what I mean? Hey, so, hey what's the old saying? Don't wait. Lick it before you. Oh, oh not that. <laughs> hey, don't wait until you're thirsty to dig the well. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, know, you don't want to do that. So here's what we're saying, folks. Use the tools that you have available. You know what I mean? Uh, when, when they're saying, you know, hey, you know, there's a, uh, what, tornado warning or tornado watch. Oh, there's you know, a tornado in uh, Corsicana, and it's headed to your house. Yeah. That means hide, folks. Yeah, go get ready. Don't be, all, don't be all mad that when you wake up the next day and, you know, your car, you, you could have anchored your car down, you know, and you find it in the next county. You're like, oh, man, I'm out of hell. I didn't think it was going to get me. Yeah. <laughs> right? So. 
<laughs> so look, so so let's stop re- relying on that old what that old old Ben's almanac and you know you you know you well you know they said you know it's gonna be it's gonna be good and you know and, you know what. Damn, hey, look, the weatherman isn't always accurate, but he's close. Yeah, he's going to get you. He would close. be an excellent horseshoe player. Yeah. Okay. I bet he could throw some mean hand grenades. Yeah. You know. Look, I seen a dude the other day coming out of the store. <laughs> it's like it's like 17 degrees. The sun gun hat on a pair of shorts, flip flops, and no socks, and a wife beater. And his and his Audi was sticking out. Poking through his wife beater. Yeah. Right? Or that could have been his mini. Or was that his Maybe Audi? so. Yeah, and his pants were sagging. And he had a belt on. Like, if you got a belt on, there's no reason for you to be sagging. Right. right. You would think. No. And he was holding the front of them up with one arm. Yeah. Like, he was walking with that, that those 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 wide leg shimmy, so his draws didn't yeah, fall down. Yeah. yeah. So, like, what if you need to run, man? I mean, or... Was you wearing your big brother's clothes that day, or I mean, what was happened? it? It could have been laundry day. You never know. What, did you did you did you step out of the house, and it, it's seventeen degrees? Or were you? Can I, do I need to go back in and get a jacket yeah, at least? Or yeah, I mean, come on, man. So that's another. You know, don't let the sneaky weather change, uh, uh, ruin your wardrobe plans, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plan accordingly. You know. So look, if you here's what all we're saying. If you see that, hey, in about three or four days, you know, you got your future forecast. You're looking at your, you know, everybody's got 19 weather apps on their phone, right? And you look down <laughs> like, hey, what's it going to be like in, you know, four days when I, you know what? Oh, my God, it's going to be a potential chance to be freezing. And t- hey, get let's, ready. Let's go to the store now. Go buy your four or five loaves of bread, your nine cases of water, maybe some diaper, some baby wipes in case you need to take one of them old, old hooker baths or combat showers, as we called them. <laughs> You know, you know, you gotta you gotta moist towelette yourself just to stay fresh. El yeah. fresho. Right. So Hey look, ice is back with a brand new invention, man. Yeah. Okay. It it is. Yeah, that's right. what I'm talking about. Shoot. Change the stuff it, down you know, here. It was like, you know, ice went to the extreme and it rocked the mic like a vandal. <laughs> it surely is dead so, B. So shoot. Yeah. Hey, hope everybody had fun using their uh Sholia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For the last week's boondock word. I hope they did. So we got, you know, we got a new boondock word for this week. For today? Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh. Let's, let, let me hear it. All right. The word is lebem. L-E-B-M. Is that like 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. 12? Is it? Yeah. Man, I got that you one. Get, yeah. So it's like, a, uh, hey, man, how much, how, how, how many gallons of gas you think it'll take us to get down there yeah Lebem. <laughs> see what i'm saying yeah i dig it yeah boondock word of the week yeah y'all have fun with that hey how high did you build that uh that shop that you put up out there it was about about 10 foot high how high was it uh, 11 oh man i did <laughs> didn't look that tall man all right, all right. i like it Lebem. <laughs> how'd you Lebem. Spe- how'd you spell it again l-e-b-m Okay. Lebem. <laughs> that it makes perfectly sense. Yeah. Good sense. Hey, so we you know we had a trivia uh Friday. Yes. Which was Shawty. Shalia. What was it? Uh the uh how what side of the chicken yeah. has the most feathers? Yeah. And when I was guessing bottom of the feet and you're like you're an idiot. Yeah. Right. So I'm assuming I wasn't right. No. <laughs> <laughs> kind of though not the inside of the beak you know yeah. nothing yeah. like that chicken lips yeah <laughs> inside their eyes hey so uh we got a message from old Krelvin Moonslide yeah 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 he sent us a message and, okay. and he got it right the the side of the chicken that has the most feathers is the outside <laughs> <laughs> uh, man that just makes sense don't hey, it yeah good job Krelvin yeah huh we're going to start sending. Where are we going? To, we're going to send him a T-shirt or something. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But okay, that's we coming. Can do some, we can do that's something. That's coming. Like that. We're going to give out a. We're going to figure out a way to give the winners to reward someone. Yeah, give them a prize. Yeah. You know, 
Only only one. Uh, you, you can only have one winner per household every you know twenty four months. It may apply with that prize. Yeah, yeah. So if you're an employee of the Spit Cup and Roy Show, you know you're not eligible. <laughs> you're not eligible if you're an employee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Skitty, skitty, skitty. So that means you back there, Frank. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's oh, all he Frank. does back there is just complain and push buttons. Yeah, you know he's I mean? always drunk, too. <laughs> yeah. That's why our quality sounds like crap. Yeah, we got to get a new guy. <laughs> you know? Our quality, our, uh, what what, do you, what would you call, what, would he, what is his title? S- s- sorry right now. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does he the producer? Does he, is he the producer? What is it? No, no, he'd be the uh, sound control. Oh, okay. He's, the, he's our sound guy. Our sound guy, yeah. Right. Yeah. Our sound guy's always so I, can, so I can tell you, you know, folks, be on the lookout and, you know, your local, uh, you know, we're going to have an ad in the Thrifty Nickel. You know, <laughs> the Thrifty Nickel. It, we could be advertising for a, you know, there could be a, a soundboard operator position coming and open real quick. The Nifty Frickle. Yeah. It's a, man, I, I tell you what, I, I used to live by that Thrifty Nickel. One, because they were free. Right? Yeah. So, you, you know, we'd, uh, but I, that's where I was always shopping for cars and, you know, I, Oh, hey, grab me and grab me a nickel. Hey, make sure you get me a thrifty nickel. You know, mm-hmm. I bet most folks just don't remember what those are. Well, now you got marketplace on Facebook. That's pretty much your yeah. That's your thrifty nickel. Yeah, now. sure, sure it is. So it sh- you, shall we? Facebook nickel. Yeah, ooh, <laughs> that almost went bad the wrong way. Right? Oh, is there a good the right way? Yeah. Yeah, but that, w- that good, wouldn't have been it. Is there a good the wrong way and a bad the right way? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. I guess it. I guess it is. Hey, so uh, we didn't give y'all a survival item last Friday, but we're gonna give one today. Uh, Could have been ice pick, you know, to get your car yeah. out, you know. Yeah, or a snow plow. Snow plow. Or it yeah. could have been bread. Yeah, yeah. Good survival item. Ba- some. Well, you, what do you need? Bake it yourself. What do you need? Something like. Actually, what you need stay is off like they, flyer. <laughs> what they had back in the old days was a, a a can of starter, which was like your yeast and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I thought you meant something you sprayed in your motor to get it turning. Starter That's starter fluid. fluid. Yeah, uh, that's your um, your meth startup package. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> starter fluid. Yeah. No, but really starter, which has uh, your yeast and all that to get your bread going. Uh, a lot of the old ladies, old folks used to keep a can of that around. Yeah. Made bread all the time from scratch. But uh, to this today's survival item. Yeah. Uh, Is it like? Could it be like a like a like a candle in case I need to light up a stage and wax a chump like a, you know? Yeah. So is that a candle? No, oh, but that's man. a good one. Dang. I think we talked about those already. But oh, yeah, okay. make sure y'all got y'all's candles and ISB and everything like yeah. that. Fina Mamer. But uh, today's survival item is shovels. You know how many things you can do with a shovel? I could flow like a harpoon daily and nightly if I had a shovel. Yeah, you might could, you know, yeah. create a flow yeah. with a shovel. Yeah. Oh, but shovels do so many things, man. If you're out there living off the off the grid and you gotta hide in the woods and the mountains and all that when the when the poop hits the dookie. Yeah, mm, that's thing. You're gonna need a shovel. Yeah. Or sometimes just to bury the dookie. Yeah. You know? There's so many different things you can do with a shovel, man. Knock, you ever, you knock need, somebody upside the head with it? Yeah. If you ever need to rear back and just dig in something, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, boy, I like digging and stuff. Yeah. Get that old shovel out and get to digging. Yeah, no, it makes sense. We need to move earth around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so That's good. So shovel. Remember, shovels. And uh, all kinds, right? Like I've got my, uh, the one I got from the service, my little entrenching tool, right? It collapses and folds up real small and handy. Yeah. Right? Not going to be a, uh, it's not going to be a bad idea to have, you know, your flat shovels, your regular shovels, your trench shovels, ditch shovels. Yeah. Uh, even your little handy dandy, uh, uh, garden shovel, the little hand. Yeah. The one ain't but about twelve. Yeah. No one. 10, I'm, one one that b- ain't but about. Ain't but about. Yeah. Ain't but about. I bet that, that's the song. Huh? Hey, you know they say that the old saying is that's where uh, rednecks learn to talk was from a banjo. Yeah. You listen to a redneck talk real fast. He sounds like a banjo. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, the Down in the woods. 
Anyways, you got anything else today, man? Uh, let's see. We already covered the uh, got your uh, our winner, right? Our uh, trivia survival. Winner, yeah. No, man. I, you know, I think we're uh, I think we hit it. We're good. Yeah. Y'all stay safe out there. Yeah. Let's be good, folks. We'll see you back here on the Friday. You yeah. know. I know it's a little sore today, but hey, that's what it is, you yeah. know. You know what I mean? We got stuff to do. Yeah, you, you know learned. what I mean? Trust me, you learned. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, anyways, let the Lord be your focus and handle up. Deadly when I play a dope medley, you know, because anything less than the best, you know, you'd probably be committing a felony. Felonies.